All right, so now let's talk about the art in contemporary times. So what is contemporary arts? So according to J. Paul Getty, contemporary art is made and produced by artists living today or even those artists that are living from or during the 1970s up until now is considered as a contemporary art. So, naman si J. Time Era. So, from 1970 until today, that is considered as contemporary art. Pero, ang below na, dili na na sa Jack contemporary art. Okay? Contemporary art today, it is also not restricted to the individual experience of the artist. But, it is reflective of the world that we live in. So, events in the world having an effects to the Philippines is considered as contemporary. So, renowned art critic and Metropolitan Museum curator Dr. Patrick Flores describes Philippine contempor contemporary art with the feeling that all is possible in the contemporary conceived as a constantly extending and deep deepening constellation of art. So, in contemporary art then, permits possibilities of exploring either subject or medium in art to express the Filipino sense of self. So, you may not believe it, but every day, new art forms are being created in our country. So, contemporary art then permits possibilities of exploring either subject or or medium in the art or art to express the Filipino sense of self. So, at present, Filipinos are becoming more and more aggressive. Mm, they become more and more aggressive as they use the arts to express themselves and create wonderful artworks that try to capture the Filipino way of life. Let's say, for example, this one. So, kasagara na to sa atong mga lugar na na anaga dyan ni Sadya, ang wall painting. Gihibo na ni Sadya as considered as an art. O nga, ang mga wall instead of vandalism, o, hala, pintali ka na. O, diba? So, it depicts the Filipino way of living. O, uh, such as our history and all. So, ala. Okay. So, I want you to look around you. So, in the most unexpected corner of the street, sa inyong kwarto, sa inyong bahay, do you consider that as an art? Oh, so, makonsider pa ka na nato as an art? Maybe. Oh, so, kung maglibot-libot po ta sa Pilipinas, makakita po ta of a mixture of old and new. Well, let's say, for example, the Binondo Church in Manila. The 16th century Binondo Church is just a few blocks away from the very modern Lucky Chinatown Mall. So, from the old to the new. Oh, so, makita na to. Bisan dirila sa atong region and makakita man ta that there are still houses that are very old. O, makita na to dahil sa mantahan dapit. And then, sa unahan na po, makakita na po kag mga bay nga. Grabe ka mga bago. Modern. Modernized nga mga bay. So, old and new is already here. So, new and fresh structures are sprouting all over the country. So, this is a design of a disaster-ready structure by architect Paolo Alcazaren. So, this is attributed to, this, to the designs made by the likes of Carlos and others. So, these structures are ultra-modern and functional and aesthetically sound. So, gihimo ni siya. Oh, kanisa siya mara nga stadium. Nga, nga pinaka-modern siya. But architect and architect and critic Paulo Alcazarin note that much of what we see in terms of iconic buildings in the Philippines nowadays is either designed by foreigners 
or a derivative designs mimicking copies of western forms. So, ingon si Paolo, kasagaran ko no na itong mga buildings karon kung dili mangga ni foreigners ang architects, kung Filipino mangga ni ang architect, it is a copy of a western form. So, daghanang itong makita ng good, especially sa internet. So, ang mga architect, mubasi rapod sa liking sa mga tao which is ang kasagaran ng mga ganahan sa mga tao ang mga design ang mga design sa western countries which is very sad so gamay na naman nato ang mag kanang magbuy o kanang inspired by nipa hindi pa si pag ingon nga nipa hot pero inspired by kanang kahoy ang buy oh, so gamay na naman nato ang iyana because most of all the houses are already structured most of the houses are already structured based on the copies of western forms let's say for example this mall this is the uh, venice grand canal inspired in manila so nani somewhere in manila nga kana si jonga mall is inspired at the venice Italy, si Janga structure. So, see? It is a mimicking copy of the Western form. So, muna ibot pa sa bot ni Paolo Alcazarin. So, on the Philippine contemporary literature, eminent scholar and writer Ro Roland Tolentino describes that Filipino writing in today's world contains the diasporic experience and, incor in, and incorporation of the of both the rural and urban experiences. So, these are the writers or distinguished writers and editors that have gathered anthologies to collect into volumes the newest and most innovative works of Filipinos today. So, money ang mga ning sikat or ning angat or the most innovative or the newest works of Filipinos today such as Vince Gorian's Very Short Stories for Harried Reader. So this is edited by Vince or Vicente Garcia Groyon. So nakadaog pod ni. Then we have the Anvil's Publishing Fast Food Fiction deliver Delivery. Then we have in 2008, Miguel Sejonco begged the Man Asian Literary Prize for his novel Illustrado. So, nakadaog po ni siya. Then we have the Marie V. Sullivan published her novel, The Mango Bride, in 2014 under Penguin Books. So, kaning Penguin publisher is uh, sikat nga publisher sa gawas. So, kasagara na tong mga young adults, nga mga books kasagaran is uh, published under penguin we also have here sophia lee won the 2014 scholastic asian book award for her novel what things mean so naani this is available on national bookstore in theater it is still alive despite the dominance of the television movies and the internet theater is still here Oh, so naidaghang mga multiple stage productions from university to public or to private rather. Okay. So PETA or Philippine Educational Theater Association was founded in 1967 by Cecil Gidiote Alvarez oh, who advocates the use of Filipino theater in inspiring change and development in society. So, it is composed of dedicated artist, teacher, cultural workers who strive for artistic excellence. So, association ni sila kanin peta. They work to promote the transformative power of theater through its production of performances and workshops. So, sila ang mo handle of workshops and performances or production. The Tanghalang Pilipino was established in 1987. So it is a resident drama company of Cultural Center of the Philippines or CCP. So with it, with its 15 seasons and 114 productions, it is the most attended among the CCP's resident companies. So kanisa ja usana ni ka 
uh, drama company ang tanghalang Pilipino so daghan ni si Jang mga gipang uh, portray nga play oh, so this is the tanghalang Pilipino other theater groups we, have, oh, we also have other theater groups such as the Kansas or the Ka Kansas at 35 the musical by Gantimpala Theater Foundation Incorporated so Gantimpala we also have yes this one Gantimpala we also have the Ballet Philippines of course the Ballet Philippines then we have the Nine Works Theatrical uh, yes the Adams Family then Concertos Manila it is also a theater group then from the universities na po tayo daghan oh, mga universities from this one Dulaang UP oh, so kana sila ah yes this one is the Ballet Philippines humbalik ko niha oh, and private companies such as Nine Works Theatrical Atlantis Production Repertory Philippines, Concertos Manila, and from the universities, we have uh, Dulaang UP from UP Diliman, Ateneo Blue Repertory from at, yes, Adamson, or Ateneo, rather, Ateneo, yes, Ateneo. Then we have the Teatro Tomasino, UST. Or University of Santo Tomas. So those are the other theater groups that is still existing up until now. Right, so Teatro Tomasino. Then the Virgin Lab Fest was created in 2004. It is a playwrights festival of untried, untested, and unpublished plays. So katong mga wala pa na published, wala pa naswayan, wala pa na tested. Uh, during the lab fest, the virgin lab fest, diri ni si Jay ipang play tanang mga theat theatrical play or mga playwrights. It is a collaboration of the National Center for Culture and the Arts or the NCCA, CCP, the Tanghalang Pilipino, and the Writers Block. So the virgin lab fest. So ni mga example sa the virgin lab love lab fest nga gipakita nila that that it that it is not shown on TV. So, bosses ng masa, we have here ang mga, ang mga puyong, hindi ako si Darna, ang bata sa bus stop. Mm. So, naadagan nila yung wagas. Alright. So, in visual arts, the new breed of contemporary Filipino visual artists is becoming bold regarding the expression of personal feelings and perspectives. So, there is an annual competition also play an important role in encouraging the emerging artists to create and produce their work. So, the Philippine, uh, the Filipina Shell Foundation Incorporated has been recognizing young talents in the visual arts for almost half a century. So, some of the past winners of this competition who became national artists includes Jose Hoya, Benedicto Bencab Cabrera ang and ang Kyoko. So moto sila yung mga kasagaran nga makadaog jo that are already considered as national artists. So these are some notable works of art from the competition, the Pilipinas or the Pilipinas Shell Foundation Incorporated. The Child Trafficking by Leo Marcy Conejo. So mo ni mga kasagaran nga nakadaog. We have Who One Struggle sa Mundong Nobody's Perfect by Ferd Angelo A. Failano. We have the Tragic Bonus by Rene S. Sibulang, Sibulang Cal. And we have Bandilang Di Tumutumba by Melvin G. Anglacer. So this is an example of a sculpture. Ang Bandilang Di Tumutumba. So kanisa siya, bisa pag unsa nga bagjo, hindi pa rin tumutumba ang Pilipino. Oh. So, these works of art are reflection of social environmental issues in life. So, maan na sila. Alright. So, maan na sila. So, though, that was module 1 and I'm going to give you 
uh, a group activity and of course the um the individual activity okay so na tay group activity and na asa tay individual activity so that would be all for module 1 or lesson 1 what is art and thank you so much for listening goodbye